Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another episode today on building a DIY carving knife. Um, now this is where we got to last time. We've basically just roughed out a sort of a very rough blank shape. Um, and what I want to focus on today is just bringing this down to the lines that we've marked out. Um, and to do that, I'm going to be using my vise and a couple of files. Um, now what I'll do guys, in a second I'll bring the camera just a little bit closer in. Um, and I'll explain exactly how it is we're going to do this. Right then guys, so we are clamped up in the vise, um, hopefully you can see here we've got the, the uh, mark that we've put down here uh, delineating where we want to cut down to. Um, I've got a couple of files here, I've just got a standard small half round file and a slightly larger sort of engineers or bastard file um, which has got a little bit of a stronger sort of cut to it. Um, now most people when they're filing metal will do something like this. <laughs> which is absolutely fine, there's no reason not to, um, but when you're doing something like this, um, there's another technique that you can use that is actually a lot more um, energy efficient, um, and that's called draw filing. Um, and it's very similar to using something like a draw knife. Um, so you can either take your file, put it on your piece, and pull it towards yourself. Alternatively, you can push it as well, or you can do a combination of the both. Now because we're only trying to remove the material here, we're not looking for a perfectly sort of clean, smooth surface afterwards. Going backwards and forwards doesn't matter so much. Um, if you are trying to get a nice sort of even, um, clean cut, then you want to pick just one or the other. So for example, I move, I'm, normally I would go like this way because I'm sort of right-handed and my left hand normally faces forward just to um, support things, but for the purpose of the video so you can see what I'm doing, I'll do it this way. Um, and basically, all you will do is push forward. I normally put the um, the file at a slight angle. I find that helps rather than just keeping it like this. Though you can do it either way, whichever is most comfortable for you. Um, and essentially, you'll push forward and you'll cut away an amount of material. Um, as I say, you can go both ways. And that certainly does speed things up a little bit. Um, but just one thing to say is this is not a quick process. Um, you know, removing the amount of material I need to remove here, I could get the hacksaw back out and cut some more of it off. Um, but actually, I'm hoping that this won't take me too long. Um, so what I'll do, I'll carry on for sort of five or ten minutes. I'll come back and we'll see how far we've got. Right then guys, so slight change of plan. Um, I've been doing this for about 15 minutes now and although I'm making a little bit of progress, it's very slow going. So what I've done is I've just put a small cut with a hacksaw just down in the center here where, my, where I want my tang to start. Um, I'm gonna go down a little bit further, probably just over halfway, and then I'm gonna cut back from here down to meet that line just so it takes off this complete piece here. Um, so I've just got a very thin stick tang, which was my intention for this knife. Um, and what I'll do, I'll come back once I've made that cut and then we can start progressing a little bit more onto the blade itself. Right then guys, so I've finished off with the hacksaw and this is what we have been left with. So I've got a nice little sort of rat tail stick tang here. I've actually decided to have it come all the way across the back of the blade rather than sort of cutting one down the back and then one down the belly. Um, really that was more for laziness than anything else because I didn't want to have to do two cuts but for the type of knife that we, we're making this is absolutely fine and I can tidy this little bit up later on at my leisure. I've also taken a little bit more off the, uh, the blade itself. Um, I had to come in at a couple of different angles but that's fine. It's removed most of that material and all I need to do now is just sort of round this down with a file and get the, get the point tidied up a little bit. Um, but that's all I'm going to do for today guys. Um, so I hope you'll join me next time where we sort of finish up the profile of this blade um, and then we can start thinking about putting on the bevel ready to put on an edge. Um, but like I say guys, hope it was useful. Um, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.